physiotherapist with CMT Type 1A. Over the course of these videos, I'm going to be showing you a series of exercises that you can do at home with minimal equipment. And the aim of this is to try and keep your muscles strong, keep you moving and get you more active at home. These exercises are designed to need minimal equipment um, and I will let you know what you do need and when before we have to do it. And some of the exercises might involve getting on and off the floor, so I'll let you know when that is as well. So then we can either take you through how to get off the floor safely, um, or you can skip that section if necessary. The exercises are designed around wearing your AFOs throughout, so make sure that you are wearing AFOs and trainers if you need them. If there are occasional exercises where we might need to unstrap them or take it off, then only do so if it's safe for you. It's important to remember that CMT is really variable, so some people will be affected much more than me, some people much less than me. Um, so I've tried to show a different variation of the exercises so you can pick one that's at your level. But if you do need more specific advice, I would recommend you speak to your physiotherapist. Or if you have any particular questions about these exercises and how you can modify them for you, then you can drop me an email as well. Hi everyone and welcome to video 7. This is the last one in this series so I really do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, this one, similar to the last one, is going to be a bit of a mix of all sorts of things um, so you can pick and choose what suits you the best. Um, for the first round of exercises we're going to be doing four rounds of three exercises um, so I'll just run you through them quick. So for the first one um, you'll just need the biggest dumbbell you've got. Okay. If it's not massive, then that's fine. Um, if you're at home and you don't have anything else around, then just something you can pick up and put back down is absolutely fine. If you find that it's too low on the floor and you're not going to be able to reach it, then you can put it on a step on a stool, something a little bit higher, or you can just do the movement without it. So you could just come up and down and pretend that you're picking something up off the floor. But the first exercise is going to be a dumbbell sumo deadlift. So we're getting our legs out nice and wide. We're coming down with a straight back. So if I go side on, straight back, and then we're going to lift up. So really, the dumbbell shouldn't be coming forwards or backwards. It should be staying in line with your feet the whole time. And then keep your back nice and straight and just standing straight up like this. So that's going to be number one. And then the next one after that, we're going to be doing high knees. So you can just do a one at a time like this if you want, or if you feel like you want to add a bit of cardio in. Then you can do it quicker. I'm not very good at jumping. So I'm probably just going to stick with doing it like this, otherwise it's going to just get into a mess. Um, and then kickbacks is the other one. So we're just going to bring our feet back. Again, if you can, you can kind of like run a little bit with it. Um, I may try it, I'll see how I go, okay? Um, so if we start off with the deadlift, so we'll get our stance nice and wide, then we're coming down and off we go. So that's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'll do a high knees, I'll do it for 20 seconds. I really like not jumping because so I'm going to just do it like this as quick as I can. So again with the deadlifts, another thing, you commonly, commonly will see people in the gym doing it like this, looking up at the ceiling when they're doing it. You really want to try and keep a nice straight line, bring your back all the way to the top of your head. So you just come straight up like that, and like that, we're not doing any of this. So that's something to consider. And then you have the other two, depends on your levels of ability to be light on your feet, which, of which I have very little. So, we're going to take nice light stance, and up we go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we've got 20 seconds of bringing our knees up high. If you can't jump it, that's fine. We're just going to try and go fast. As daft as it looks. to do with CMT, obviously because a lot of people can't pick up the toes so well, we do have to lift a little bit more from our hips. And you know what, that's fine, you know, like the gait might not look perfect, but actually I think, you know, practicing that movement, strengthening up those muscles, will help you to walk differently, hopefully more easily and be stronger than doing so. Okay, and when you're ready, nice wide stance. And off we go. One, two, three, keeping that neck neutral. Four, five. And really try and squeeze your glutes at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we'll do our 20 seconds of modified high knees. round of these exercises and then we'll have a minute rest and I'll explain what we're going to do next. So take a drink if you have one. If you don't, then you should. And it just goes to show really that, you know, you can still do modified versions of normal exercises and just because you can't do the normal thing it doesn't mean you can't be changed to make it suit you, okay? So off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're gonna have to do our 20 seconds of high knees again. We're gonna go as fast as we can, even if we're not doing the jumping, it's absolutely fine. your minutes rest um, I'm just gonna run over the next round of exercises so for this one you'll need a chair and a couple of dumbbells and um, the first exercise is gonna be a goblet squat I'm gonna do it to a chair just for safety reasons really and um, so you can hold on to the dumbbell like this straight up to your chest and the idea is you don't want to let it really come away from your chest you want to try and get it to stay here and I'm gonna sit back 
and then come up. And it's a nice way of reminding you to keep your chest up while you're squatting. Um, the second exercise then is going to be a wood chopper. So again, if you've got bad grip, then be careful. We can do it nice and slow and controlled, bringing it up and then diagonally down and up and down. And you can do it like this, but if you're a bit more worried about your grip, then do it slowly. And um, you don't have to use weight if you don't want to. And then front raises is going to be the other one then. We're going to be coming forwards like this. Um, and we're going to do it with both hands. Okay, so we'll start off with a double squat. So if you hold on to your number like this, I'm just going to sit down. One, and two, three, and four, standing behind you for this one. with all of the exercises in these videos we've generally worked in sets of 10 and that's just to make it quite universal and um, but do remember that if you need to you can drop that down to say six or eight if you're feeling like you're having a particularly good time then you can go up to 12 15 and um, if you can get to 15 then i'd probably increase the weight so if we go back to our goblet squats then okay when you're ready up we go one Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're going to go into our wood shoulders. Okay, let's make sure you've got plenty of space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, don't drop it, nine, ten, and I'm going to go the other side, and I'm going to go a bit slower, just to make sure I don't drop it, two, if your grip isn't quite up to it. With the wood chopper one, if you do feel like you're getting sweaty and it's slipping, you could use a chalk liquid on your hands. That really helps with your grip if you're doing it in the gym. Otherwise, you could even, if you wanted to make it extra safe, 
is actually just to do it with your hands. You just go straight up and down. Just practice your chopping wood. So we're going to go back to a couple of squats now. And off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, these. Okay, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Okay, and then the other side. And then one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we'll do our front raises. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and now um, we can have a minute's rest and I'll run through the next round of exercises to finish up. Okay, so while you're having a minute's rest, I'm just going to show you the last couple of exercises. Um, the first one, I call them Spider Man's. Um, so, put the mat this way so you can see. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to get into like a plank position like this, and then we're going to bring our knees out to the side. So, just out like that. If you find that too difficult, you can just do a kneeling plank or normal, like high plank, um, wherever suits you really. It depends how challenging you want to make it. Um, and then, what we'll do then is I'll just turn the mat back around. And then the other exercise is going to be a dumbbell pullover. So with this one, you're going to be lying down and you're going to grab your dumbbell. It's going to be over your head. And we're going to pull it to here and then lower it back. Okay, so we start off with the Spider-Man slash plank, wherever one you're going to go with. And off we go. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're gonna lay down. We're gonna get dumbbell. And then one, nice and controlled. Two, three, four. Obviously the first one is like a core exercise and the second one is a nice one for long bit of triceps and lats and a bit of chest as well. So it's quite a nice all of a upper body one. And you can follow this with your normal stretches as well. So we've got five seconds left. So if we get back into position, our spring hands. Okay, and when you're ready, you will feel So when Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'll have one on the back again. And we're going to go 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nice and controlled. You'll see that I struggle with it just as much as any of you will, you will as well. Um, it's all very real. Sometimes things go a little bit wrong or like the band will snap up or whatever. Um, but the main thing is, is that with exercises, it really doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the main thing is, is that it's safe and then we're giving it a go. And having CMT really doesn't mean that exercise is not accessible to you. There are always, always ways that we can modify it and make it better and make it work for you so that you can stay stronger. Um, any form of exercise is brilliant, whether you prefer walking, horse riding, swimming, cycling, anything like that. But a lot of these exercises have been based around strengthening and the guidelines currently say that we want to be doing some strengthening and some cardiovascular exercise. And what I'm hoping you'll notice is that with these exercises, you should have had a little bit of both. Certainly my muscles will be sore tomorrow and I'm sort of out of breath, so that's normally a good sign. Um, so you just do whatever works best for you. If you find that you need any more specific guidance, you can always send me an email. Um, if not, you can always get in touch with your normal physiotherapist who should be able to guide you a bit further. So do please like, comment and share the video if you liked it. Let us know how you got on with it and I'll see you soon.